international impacts from the war, specifically on gas prices. The national average is slightly down from yesterday. According to AAA, the national average for a gallon of gas now stands at $4.32. In D.C., the average is $4.52, while it's about 30 cents cheaper in Maryland and Virginia. Meantime, Maryland is moving forward with a plan to curb gas prices with a gas tax holiday. Lawmakers will meet today to discuss a 30-day suspension of the state's gas tax. That tax currently sits at nearly 37 cents per gallon. Governor Hogan's office says both sides of the General Assembly have already agreed to the tax holiday. Today's meeting should put that in motion, but again, this is only for Maryland. So what other gas taxes do DMV drivers face? Matt Gregory joins us to verify. Matt. Tony, our experts and our research show that each day at the pump, you pay a state and a federal gas tax. And while gas tax holidays are championed to lower the burden of gasoline costs, experts say the relief would be short term and quite possibly difficult to notice. So let's have them explain why. I don't have to tell you, gas prices are awful. So to find out what can be done, let's verify what are the gas taxes in our area. Our sources are the state and local gas tax numbers from the American Petroleum Institute and two tax economic experts, Chris Edwards from the Cato Institute and Cliff Winston from the Brookings Institute. So first, our experts say gas taxes account for about one eighth of the cost of a gallon of gas. And it's made up of two taxes, the federal. It has been at uh, 18.2 cents um, for quite a long time, since the 90s. And the state or local, which varies by jurisdiction. In DC, it's 24 cents. In Maryland, it's 36 cents. And in Virginia, it's 26 cents. We've seen politicians propose creating a federal or state gas tax holiday to ease the cost of gasoline, but our experts say it's really not that simple. So gas taxes are only about one eighth of the overall cost of gasoline these days. So these gas tax suspensions won't make a lot of difference to motorists. Or the natural economics of the gas markets could mean drivers never see the cost break. I think there's the expectation that some of the reduction in the federal gas tax would filter down a bit to consumers, but not all of it, that's for sure. Uh, I think some people have argued that none of it will and that it would just be a windfall for the company. Now, according to our experts, all of these taxes get allocated to each state's highway fund, which in general pays for infrastructure like roads. Tony? All right, so Matt, if you suspend that tax, do highway funds lose money? Yeah, not necessarily. Our experts told us that the states will move money from their annual surpluses. Now, as you recall, the federal level, there is a loss of revenue, or there could be, because the federal government does not run as a surplus.